Here is a storage and organization slash travel idea <laughs> that I thought I might share today. Uh, yesterday I went over to Rosemary Morris's house. I will put a link to her YouTube channel in the video description. We filmed a live stream while we were there. <laughs> you can watch. I'll link to that too. Because it was fun. We didn't do anything really except we showed this fabulous fabric doll that she just finished. Um, but we really didn't do anything except laugh for like an hour and a half. <laughs> So if you want to watch us laugh for an hour and a half, there's that. <laughs> but anyway, I usually, you know, pack a tote bag to go and I don't take absolutely everything because she has absolutely everything. So I just use hers while I'm there, right? I mean, I would expect her to do the same at my house. So, you know, it's perfectly fine. I knew that what I wanted to do mostly was just some collage stuff, you know, glue book type things, just gluing stuff down. So I didn't take a lot of paints and anything like that. I just took, you know, scissors and glue and journals and images or scraps or whatever. So um, this is what that looked like. I have this, this is a um, composition size custom keeper which holds my scout guide book just perfectly. So this one is the one I'm working in currently. It's in here. And this also contains this sort of uh, random journal. I've played with some stencils and painty pages, you know, just watercolor. There's some random strips. There's even, even some actual like journal page layout things going on. It's just, you know, glue bookish. It's just, you know, random stuff. Just a journal in progress. And this is an extra one. I guess I started making a junk journal out of it or so. I didn't get very far, like that's it. <laughs> but there's blank pages if I want it. And then this one is the one that I work on from time to time that's got a lot of magazine collages going on. This one's a lot of fun. I really love this. So um, these all fit in the composition size um, custom keeper. And I needed to take some supplies with me. So a while back, I watched Crafting Vicky's video, which I will link to where she got one of my large, this is the A4 size custom keeper. This is the biggest one we make. And she put some folders, like pocket folders, like kids use in school. She put some of those inside there and she used some sheet protectors and she started putting her collage images in there. For That's how she stores them. It was a brilliant idea. And her idea has been on my mind for like, I don't know, a couple of months or whenever it was that she posted that video. And so I started looking at our A4 sized keeper and which holds A4 sized notebooks perfectly. Now here in the US, we don't see a lot of A4. We see eight and a half by 11, which is close to the A4 size, but not exactly. So this will hold either one fine, but if you bump it up to the school folders, this one ends up being a little bit too um, narrow. The school folders come right to the edge and kind of stick out, and that bugged me. So I thought, all right, I can make a whole other one that will hold the school folders, or I can just increase the size of the A4. And that's what I decided to do. So from now on, if you buy an A4 size, it's still gonna work, it's still gonna fit A4 and magazines, but it's a little bit wider and a teeny tiny bit taller so that it will accommodate these folders. Because Vicki made me do it. <laughs> she didn't make me, she just inspired me so much that I had to. <laughs> so now the A4 is a little bit bigger, and y'all, these are big. It's like um, 12 and a half by 11. Is that right? Yes, that's right, 12 and a half by 11. It will hold your magazines, it will hold A4, bound inserts like this one. This is a Moleskine. They had these limited edition artist um, notebooks a while back. 
and I bought several of them like it was 2009 or so. Um, so these are actual A4 size. They still fit in here just fine. This is one that I am working on. It's got some uh, collages in it and some painty papers and other um, randomness. I know I've made some videos on some of these. So it's got that, but look how nicely it holds these folders. These are like the folders that your kids use in school, you know, standard size. I got these at Walmart after uh, school started, so they were on sale for practically nothing. And these are the kind that have the little pockets. They have the brads in them. And what I did was I put a couple of them in here like this. I put some sheet protectors in the brads. I believe this is what Vicki did on her video too. And then I just went through my stash of scraps and stuff and just put stuff in it to take over to Rosemary's house. Yeah. So, you know, it's not only a good storage solution for keeping your bits and pieces organized at home, but if you just need to shove some stuff into something to take them somewhere else, this is perfect. <laughs> So I've got the folder, you know, you've got the pockets you can put stuff in, you need extra pockets, places to shove stuff, then you can put in sheet protectors. I only put in three, but you can get a whole bunch in there, you know. And this one, I also had some papers here, some more sheet protectors with stuff in it. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. You take one of the you know standard school size pocket folders and if it doesn't have brads in it you know you just loop it through like you would any other insert if it's got brads what you can do is put your elastic in the middle and then close the brads and that will kind of hold it in you know sturdier for you you can also use the brads to add your sheet protectors. And I've got just a few plain sheet protectors here that I'll put in like that. And then, oh yeah, if you want to do pocket pages, you know, to put your little bits in, you can put those in there. Just anything that has um, holes in it, standard, you know, three hole punch situation. Then close this up, squeeze your brads down, and there you go. You've got a place to keep your bits and pieces or to put them in when you're on the go. And then I just put this in my big tote bag and, you know, super simple. I didn't have to worry about getting glue and stuff on it because it'll clean right off of the vinyl. Get paint on it, it'll clean off with a little alcohol. So, uh, you know, perfect. Now, we have a few of these in the shop right now. By few, I mean um, maybe three. <laughs> but we're fusing some more this week. So if you go to the shop looking for A4 size custom keeper covers and they're gone, um, check back. Or, you know, if you're in a big rush, send me an Etsy convo saying, hey, I need one. Make me one real quick. And then we'll prioritize your request. Um, they are a little bit more expensive than they were when they were smaller because we use more material. They're $30, but this is a big honking journal cover for 30 bucks. So I think it's a very good value and the, the trick with the folders and the sheet protectors, Vicki's idea is just genius. And you can see with the expanded size, there's plenty of room. They don't stick out of the edges. I can still stuff and expand, so Yay! Thank you so much for that idea, Vicki. And y'all check the shop if this interests you. Storing and organizing always interests me because it's, you know, if you're a crafty person, it seems to be a never-ending process. So, that is all. The end. <laughs>